flag waves, the race is on. If the caution waves, it's over. If they complete the two laps, it's over. Martin, Bush, Biffle, Gilliland, Sadler, green flag. I don't believe he can wait very long, Larry. I believe if you're going to make the move, you got to make it quick. I don't think he can wait too long. If they're going to get him, they need to jump to the outside right away. Watch your bottom there. You know he's not going to give up the bottom, so you got to go to the outside. Look at the outside line. Jeff Gordon in that 24 car with his teammate Casey Mears, but Casey leaves him out there. Now, one back. I'll sit a file behind you. He's coming hard about half back now. Now, when these guys on the outside, when they get side by side with these other cars, they're done. We're coming to the white flag. It's up to the five of Kyle Busch. How long can he wait if he's going to go? Still single file. White flag, one lap to go. Coming to the white man, coming to the white, single file behind him. Five, Front six, four, eight, single foul. Here they go, they got to go, they got to get Mark, Watch they got to move him somehow. Five. He gets back to that yellow line right around the bottom, all the way through turn one and two. Mark six, Martin five, is driving five, the six, race of his life. And there's nobody that's better and holding people off at Daytona. And Kyle Busch lagged back a little bit. Is he, he right going to get help? Is he going to come? Still He's looking. Back behind you. Almost. He almost squeezed Harvick into the wall. And here comes Harvick, the top. 29, Coming with Matt Kenseth. Oh, Mark Coming got outside. loose. Watch Mark got bottom. loose. Get and Harvick's getting a run off turn four. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start-finish line. No caution. They're side by side. Right to the line. Big crash. Here they come. Checkered flag. Wins the Daytona 500. We got one car. And there's still on his roof coming across the start finish line. Still Clint wrecking. Boyer. They're wrecking everywhere. Boyer's on fire. Jeff Gordon's wrecked. And they Montoya. are still wrecking. Montoya, Stremi, Kenseth, Biffle, Marlin, Carl Edwards, Casey Mears all crashed on the final lap. Have you ever? A couple of times. I'm going to repeat what I heard a few years ago. No, I have never. <laughs> I got so excited I broke the damn mirror in half. <laughs> Jeff Gordon's day ends about like his teammates. Clint Boyer came across the start-finish line on his roof. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. This David Stremme's climbed out. He is okay. Sterling Marlin. Who slid across to the to a stop? Well, Larry, let's see. Are they going to run these cars anymore? Uh, they were intending on it, but I don't <laughs> think many of them will. It, it may be a good time to bring the old car tomorrow out. What was the margin of victory for Kevin Harvick? Unofficially, two one hundredths of a second. I thought Mark had him. I thought he was going to hold him. And Mark Martin, a bridesmaid once again. He's got to be. He's got to be thrilled though. What a finish. Bakersfield, California's Kevin Harvick, who took over the seat in what became the 29 after the death of Dale Earnhardt, stormed up the outside. Kyle Busch couldn't hold him off. He had a full head of steam into turn three. There yes, was no question did. you were going to have to go the outside. Mark was not going to give up the inside. What happens back here is Kyle Busch gets on the apron ever so slightly, gets into the 17, and it's on from there. Look at the 38 car up on top of somebody. There's a car turning over. And look at this finish. And it's a drag race to the line, and we've seen Harvick do that before. Yes, we have. You can see Harvick trying to pinch him down to keep that momentum on him. A little side draft. Get a little side draft and try to pull ahead. Now, unofficially, Jeff Burton will finish third. Mike Wallace will finish fourth. And the top finish in Roush car, rookie David Reagan in the sixth. Unbelievable.